Hey guys, Herman the German here, and today we're doing something a little different. Today I feel like doing a beginner's guide for anyone starting this game for the first time with no experience. Maybe watched a few videos, but today I feel like doing something completely different. Now the first thing I would recommend for any new player is to go into controls, common, set target for squad. This is such a beneficial thing when you're in a group of, uh, of friends with a bunch of random peoples. It helps you mark targets for friendlies. And it it is a beneficial thing. Random squad mates and with your squad mates. Beneficial. Now, the real question is, what to unlock first? Back in the day, I would say immediately go for the Panzer IIs, but with the recent nerf, and them only getting 37 millimeters of penetration with their stock ammunition. Yeah, 37. It can do the job, but you will have to flank and pray half the clip doesn't disappear. Honestly, I would recommend the Panzerkampfwagen uh, 35T. It has a solid round, 55. Uh, you can bring APCR, but I despise APCR and don't use it, because it's useless. It'll go through the target and do no damage half the time. I would recommend going through the Panther F, and then possibly the Panzer IIs. Panzer IV C is a highly recommended tank. That heat round it gets 80 millimeters of penetration. Now, you got to make sure you're not hitting space armor or tracks, and you can one-shot a lot of vehicles at this BR, even higher. Now, I would recommend going down the Panzer 4H line. It's a solid line, because I believe the Panther D, with its sloped armor, is easier to master compared to the Tiger. But once you learn how to properly angle your tank in the Panther, then I would re recommend the Tiger. Tiger takes a little more skill. And if you want brawlers, the Panzer III's are a solid tank. So I would recommend this first. Research the Panzer III F as well because 80 millimeters of penetration, that, that is a good round. They did nerf the reload, sadly, because they got to nerf everything German. Yeah. So, I would say Panzer IVs, get the Panther D first, learn the game, learn how to angle, then the Tiger. Now, quick thing about the uh, the Tiger I have to bring up. New skin, I got something coming up with the skin later on. Beautiful tank, love the Tiger. But be careful, these smoke launchers here and here, if you try to get the gun down, this will stop the depression, so your gun will actually not move. You need to be careful of that. But, like I said, play the Panther D. Learn how to angle. Then this. Keep it at a 45 degree angle. And it will keep you alive. Just wiggle the turret, because the turret is kind of weak. Only 100 millimeters, but... I love the Tiger. Absolutely love it. I dominate in it. Now, let's see. I said this, and then... This and that. All right. All right. Let's see. What what else is a thing? I'm doing this unscripted, ladies and gentlemen, so I'll, I might be all over the place. I love the Stug Life. The Stumkeschutz, or German Assault Gun. These are good, solid machines. This little monster at 2.3 gets 100 millimeter of heat penetration. Good, solid round. It can dominate. You just need to keep your armor front. And the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is keep your head on a swivel. I say this all the time to people I play with. Head on a swivel, check your surroundings, use your binoculars, do everything you can. That is the best way to survive in this game and do well. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? <clears throat> this is just going to be all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize. Now, once I say you, you got a good amount of tanks because you... You have to research a certain number of tanks to move on to the next rank. The Squeezy Boy, I love, but, oh, that, mm, just bear with me, people. 
this APCR round. Oh, the number of times I've counted of hitting the target and just going through and not damaging anything. It's a good round. And this vehicle is very quick. It's just easily killed. 30 cals, 50 cals, AA trucks, SPAA overall will kill you. You got to be careful. It's a solid machine. Stay mobile. Once you kill someone, relocate. Now this boy, this is just a war crime right here. The best recommendation I could do for this vehicle, just keep, just load the AG. Don't take the heat. You do get 185 millimeters, but like I said, if it hits space armor or tracks, it won't do any damage to the vehicle or kill it. Now, another amazing vehicle I would recommend, once you got enough in this rank, the SDKFZ 234-2. The Puma. Solid machine. Fast. Easily killed by 50 cal, so you have to be careful. Head on a swivel. You gotta keep an eye on your surroundings. And if you kill a target, relocate. You gotta keep moving. Keep your eyes on the sky as well, because planes will easily kill you. Especially all these thinly armored vehicles. The Martyrs. Solid machines. Fast reload. Good penetration, but easily killed. You gotta be careful with these vehicles. Now the Dicker Max. Personally, this thing should be 2-0. Saying it now, it's too slow. Can't really deal with changing situation in combat. I love the machine, but it should be lower in BR. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Same thing with the half-track. Solid gun penetration, but machine guns, AAs, aircraft are your biggest threats. You gotta stay mobile, find cover, ambush your targets. Same thing with the Nashorn and Stur a meal. Stur a meal with that 128. Ooh la la. If you know what I mean, guys. Now, the issue I've been having lately, I've just been trying to get a Tiger 2 video all day. The higher BRs. Uh, the best way to put it. Tiger H gets those smoke launchers removed, so you actually have gun depression on the side. A little faster, you do get APCR in this tank compared to the, the H variant. You get 211, but still APCR is just meh in the game. Just a lot of meh. I, I just stick with the Panzer Grenade, the 39. You just need to aim for weak spots is the key, ladies and gentlemen. Aiming for weak spots are the key in this game. And the, the Hetz are a strong machine. It feels a little too slow. In this game, but same thing with the Jagdpanzer IV solid machine. Jagdpanzer IV 70, you get the Panther's gun at 5.3, same gun as the Panther D. Solid machine. Now, the German AA was also sadly nerfed. It makes me angry. It can still kill tanks. You get 48 here, 48, 49 can do a great job killing machines, and it was moved down in BR. And then they nerfed this beauty. Oh, it had 50 millimeters of penetration, guys. It used to dominate. They nerfed German AA, but they don't touch Swedish AA that can kill a heavy tank with its 40 millimeter Bofors or any of that. Just... All right, I'm getting off topic. But, <clears throat> excuse me. The SDKF 251-21 is a good AA. You got to win till the plane is close enough to engage because these guns shoot quick and it rips planes apart. Same thing with the Whirlwind. You get 20 millimeter flak 38s. These rip planes apart. Oswind, still trying to spade it. It's kind of painful, but shockingly, it can kill tanks. It's got 49. Same as the uh, SDKFZ 6-2. It's a 37 millimeter gun. Oswind 2. Not sure if this thing actually existed. I tried to find any information. I heard it was a prototype. You get twin 37 mil flak 44s. Slow rate of fire, though. Slow rate of fire. Can still pen some tanks on the side and can rip Hellcats apart. Lightly armored vehicles can do the job. <clears throat> now, the best line, well, I love both of these, the heavy and the medium. The Panther with proper armor angling will do a fantastic job in battle. Move your turret a little bit. 
does outstanding and can dominate the battlefield, guys. Absolutely crush your enemies. Now at higher BR, <clears throat> uh, they moved the lovely Ferdinand up in BR, which I do not agree with. It's slow. The Jagdpanther is faster than the Ferdinand. Like, look at that. 31 kilometers an hour to 55. Like, come on, guys. At higher BRs, guys, when you're under up tiered, you got to play defensively. Shoot a target, pull back, flank the enemy. You you want to stay on the move, but you got to keep an eye out for ambushers like the M56 Scorpion, the M50, the M60, the Type 60. Those are your biggest threats because they're tiny, quick, and they move quickly. Now, something I want to bring up is they didn't, it feels, I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like they nerfed the mobility of all German tanks. Don't know why. Personally, it makes no sense. They feel very sluggish to me. You got to keep an eye out on that. <clears throat> now, when researching a new vehicle, this is very key. Parts and fire extinguisher. Get these two first. Those are the key. But the best thing for new players now is teammates can help you repair and help you put out fires. When I started, none of that. You were on your own. And it was painful when you had a stock vehicle. But you got more help now. <clears throat> now the next thing I wanted to talk about real quickly. Let's see. Can I... Uh... All right, I'm just using this as a <clears throat> demonstration. When you spawn, you want to do what I call the John Madden strategy. Plan out your attack, your plan out your movement, whatever BR it is. Like, plan out to go here, f hit the enemy as they cross, hit them here. You want to plan your movement and predict what the enemy's going to do. You want to try to get in their head. And this is key. Doing this stuff will help you succeed. Predict where the enemy's going to be. Like, I go here, listen. Listening's the key, guys. Have good headset. Have volume turned up. Don't play music. Like my friend the Italian does. Doesn't help him at all. You can hear engine noises when the game wants to cooperate. There's always issues with not hearing the enemy coming on you. Listening is the key. You can ambush your enemy as they cross. Capture. Flank them. Recapture. You can do this on every map. Oh, this. Oh, I hate this map. Oh, I hate this map, guys. One second. Learning the map is the key to use the strengths of your vehicle to its advantage. Knowing the weaknesses of your vehicle is also key, because you don't want those to be the ones holding you back, guys. On every map that you play, you got to plan out your attack. It's called the John Madden strategy, as I'd like to call it. Rest in peace, John Madden. You can do this on every single map. Plan out your attack. Plan what do you think the enemy's going to do. That's the key, guys. Now, as I said, guys, sound is the key. I turned it down. I put this to max. I listen for enemy engine noises, enemy gunfire. You can tell by just having a good headset and listening. That is very important in this game, guys. Very important. And the good news is when you're in a squad, you can type to each other now. They did implement that. But that's it. You can't communicate with your team, which is really bad. And another important thing, guys... If you're in a random squad, use the squad marking thing. If you're in a plane and you spot, spot tanks and you see your buddy moon, buddy moving, please assist them. Your team, you got to do teamwork. You got to help each other out, you know? Cover each other's flanks. It's a team building game. Don't be a lone wolf, all right? That's the important thing about this game. Probably said that game a lot. Every time I said game, guys, you got to take a shot. Now, premiums. All right. Because this game is very grindy, guys, but sometimes you can get a booster to help or make silver lions to uh, help you buy equipment, repair your tanks and stuff. 
if you were going to spend money on this game, Panzer III N is a great tank. It's got spaced armor. Uh, let's see. There we go. It's got spaced armor. Additional armor plating, so better protection. Has a short 75, but it does fire a heat round, which is very, very dangerous if you hit the right spot, guys. Now, another premium. Hmm. I do love the Bevel's Wagon. It's a command variant of the Panzer IV J. The problem is the turret is slow. The turret rotation is very long, but it's a good money maker. Same thing with the Brumba. Brumba is a good one. Same gun as the Stamp uh, the Stamp Panzer One. Does a great job. Uh, this is a good tank. Very strong. It's a mixture of Russian bias and German steel combined. Does get extra armor plating and the same gun as the Panzer IV. Now, this BR. The Tiger II STLA is a good tank. It has the Yag Tiger's engine, so it has more horsepower. Does get speed, same gun. More um, armored track, extra tracks on the turret that can protect you from heat rounds. And I'm not going up to here because I'm not a fan of modern stuff, so we're going to stay down here. And guys, this is my first attempt at this without a script, so I want to see what you guys think of how well I did. And I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you guys want to see more, please comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what I did. And um, if you got any suggestions or requests, please just leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.